Today we have an exclusive interview with reality show celebrity Bobcat. Bobcat was a contestant in the Whitney Museum of American Arts reality show Animal Estates as part of the biennial. Bobcat was a finalist in Hague's production but was voted off by the other animals. In the estate, several animals were given time and space to live in the museum. Since Bobcat has just been voted off, she's holding a press conference about her time on the show, why she thinks she was eliminated, who was talking behind her back, and what ultimately got her kicked off the show. She also explains why she is so thankful for the experience and shares with us some insight on what it is like to be a role model for young Bobcats across the country. We're supposed to all get along while the biennial was up and as a predator that was really hard for me but I felt like Animal States is about love and peace and, um, and I wasn't going to attack all the animals. I am a predator and I could have eaten almost every single one of them. Unfortunately I was voted off by all the other animals. That was really hard for me to accept. All the other animals were basically food for me and I didn't eat them. They were scared of me as a bobcat. I they mean, were intimidated I, by you then. Yeah, absolutely. I was really the only real animal. The bat is basically blind, so you feel sorry for it. You know, it's blind, and so you try to give it space. But the bat was really the one at night that was telling all the other animals what the other animals were saying about them behind their back. I, I followed the rules really strictly because I wanted to win. I didn't want to be eliminated. You know, it's hard to be a bobcat. Part of the reason that a lot of people didn't like me is the way I mark my territory. I take a pee and I take a poop wherever I live so people know that I'm there. So on the show, on Fritz's Animal Estates, people were like, bobcat really smells. Bobcat's house smells. Don't get near bobcat. She always smells like She's smelling up the whole museum, she's ruining the show, like she's pooping everywhere. I think that's ultimately what led for me to be kicked off. So this was where a lot of the estates were placed, in the garden of the museum. We were asked to live here for the duration of the biennial of American art. It was a lot easier for other animals than for me. It was really hard for me. Like I said, I feel like I was the only real animal. You know, the birds could fly everywhere. They could come and go as they please. Fritz Haig is about love and peace and animal sanctuary. That's Fritz Haig. I was surprised that the possum voted against me. Yeah. I represent bobcats all over the United States, and everyone's looking at me to think about bobcats, and everyone is looking to me to see how bobcats behave. I feel that all this misunderstood or misrepresented in any components of the of Well, your I haven't seen the final edit of the show, and... Um, what did you eat there? What did I eat? That's a really good question because, you know, I wasn't supposed to eat any of my um, friends um, in the animal estates. But um, there's actually a lot of rats at the Whitney Museum. <laughs> and it was hard. I lost a lot of weight. I hope that the best animal wins, of course. Who do you want to win? I'm endangered in New Jersey. Um, I'm endangered in Ohio. But, you know, you can kill me in Pennsylvania. Not to bring this back to me, the bobcat. But um, a lot of us are at a risk of losing um, our whole species and lives and that's the animal that I would want to win the, the one at, at the most risk but it doesn't always work like that in, at the animal estates I think the eagle has a really good chance of winning and the bat I'm really thankful for this experience and I hope that by speaking out as a bobcat that other animals and other people understand other animals and their need for home, housing, and to work with the human beings. Bobcats do need homes. It's just been really a month.
There you have it. An emotional account of Bobcat's time spent at the Whitney Biennial.